So my name is Dino Tomic and I work as a full-time artist. I do all kinds of mediums, from the most weirdest ones to the most normal ones. Uh, I'm originally from Croatia. I uh, moved to Norway when I was 14 years old and I'm 31 now. And artwork is what I do and that's what I'm known for. Probably my very first viral artwork was the salt one. So I was thinking what kind of substance is very similar to salt and then I was thinking maybe a gun powder because gun powder we can actually burn, flames are always cool. After that it literally exploded and that's where I really really become, started to get such huge following and so many views like I can mention earlier that one year I got like 500 million views just on the gun powder stuff I have done so that's really really crazy. From that point on, I just continue working with really strange mediums that people have never even heard of. So when I was 16 years old, I set a goal to my, for myself to be the world's best artist that I could be by the age of 26. So I had like a 10 years period to be as good as I could be and be like uh, world known. The thing that I try to do is to do one painting or drawing or tattoo or whatever, like one art piece per day, every single day without any breaks. Because in my mind, uh, in that way, I would become like the best artist I could be, just because from the sheer amount of practice. So I was maybe good at drawing monsters and I was happy drawing them, but I was very, very bad at drawing portraits and they looked terrible. My goal was to become good and versatile and everything. I kind of decided to just do portraits until I'm good at doing portraits. So it's just like trying to go outside of your comfort zone and do something you're not uh, good at and try to develop that more because you will need that knowledge in a future project, probably indefinitely. People tend to think that you're born with it, but that's not true, it's just like, you don't see me, I have, I have like literally failed more times than you have even tried. Uh, and that, that most people don't even understand how much work it is behind every single piece I make. And that I have dedicated like the last 15 years of my life, every single day, painting and drawing. There, there's like, you see a painting, it's like, oh, it's a cool painting, I wish I could do it. But freaking stop wishing and start doing, there's nothing more to it. There's like a thing that people call talent. They think you're like born with a thing that you're like just naturally super, super good at doing stuff. But that's really, really not true at all. If you don't dedicate the time uh, and effort and energy into doing it and repeating it constantly, you will not become good. It's like you need to have obviously a burning passion for it. You need to love what you do. And then if you invest the time, you will become eventually really good. So what am I going to do if I get another 100 million views? It's going to feel kind of the same for me. Uh, I remember like the first time when I got, uh, when the first stuff went viral and I got like half a million views, oh, my heart was beating fast and I didn't know what to do with myself. And then I did a few other pieces and they get like a million views. And I was like, oh my God, I don't even know how to feel now. It's like a million people have seen what I have done and it's such a rush and such a strange feeling. It's very, very few people get to experience and then you kind of get numb to it and then like today if I post something and a million people sees it, it's like so it's another day, it doesn't really matter, I don't even think about it, it just becomes so normal to you that you're, you're disconnected from the huge number. The things that people don't really know is that most of the things you see online is just something I do on my spare time. Everything else is uh, basically for clients that I can't share. So it's just uh, my free free time artworks that I have fun with. I have definitely not reached the peak. I think there's so much more to uh, get into it and blow up the size of each of these mediums. It just becomes so much more impressive and incredible. And so I haven't, I haven't even started, I not even close to the peak, I would say. There's a few other things I want to try. I want to do like artworks on the water and I want to do the artworks in the sky. And uh, there's like so, but they're like more like grandiose stuff that I might do in the future.